What's up, everybody? It's your man, Danelle, a.k.a. Small Guy Promotions, a.k.a. The Omaha Fatty, coming with another podcast episode of What's Up, Omaha? Today, we have a guest, another restaurant owner. Uh, we have Andrea from Moran's Grill. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, glad to have you on. I know I've been, we've been trying to coordinate for a little while to get it to work out and you know, the life of a restaurant owner is busy. So, and you have other <laughs> stuff going on in life too. So, uh, glad to finally have you on though. Um, it's been a crazy time. I know for you guys, uh, just like a lot of other restaurants first, can you tell people about Moran's grill and uh, where we can find it at? Moran's grill. We're located in Papillion, um, two, three, zero West Lincoln street. We're, if you go where, you know, where the park is in the soccer fields, we're right there in front inside Papillion Legion in the back. And how we got started is we went there to look for our wedding, um, for upstairs to rental hall. And Chris was showing it to us. And then she asked us if we were interested with the kitchen because my husband's been in the kitchen industry for over 20 years. Okay. And, um, it's something he's always wanted, something of his own. So we went with it and we opened it in a week and a half. It was crazy. It's been a crazy, crazy year. Uh, we're all family based. Everybody in the family works there. If they can be there, they're there. Nice. Um, it's We got my nephew, my daughter, my stepson, um, my brother-in-law. Everybody is part of it. And my niece um, everybody that has been there has been amazing. We yeah. have the best servers, <laughs> not just because it's family, but they are. We we just absolutely love everybody there. And that's that's what a, a lot of small businesses in general, uh, you know, they rely on is that family support or friends. You know, especially when you're new to it and you're just getting started on your own. Sometimes you know you just need that that person to help pitch in when they're available. Uh, how long have you guys been around? Um, we opened last November, so we just celebrated our year anniversary. Oh, I can't happy believe it's already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man. So I didn't know exactly when you guys had opened, but I just, I found you guys through Facebook. You guys do a lot of posting on Facebook in the different groups. And I can't remember if it was my group with Omaha area foodies or if it was Omaha food lovers or taste of papillion. There's so many different groups, but I know I saw it in one of those groups a couple of times. And I think I may have liked a post or something or maybe even shared it. Uh, and then I saw Roger Cox, uh, who works with Bellevue Police. I saw that he had gone one day and he he made this post about it. And I said, that's it. I got to go to this place. It's in Papillion. It's not far. It's like five minutes away. I got to get there. And then we came in and, and, and we ordered. And, and that was after it had to be. I can't remember if it was before the pandemic started or not, but I remember I got it to go because we haven't eaten there yet. We haven't eaten mm -hmm. inside the, the establishment yet. But um, yeah, it, it, it was good. Uh, you know, we had wings and burgers and I know I made a video of it and whatnot. So, you know, we are fans. You know, it's hard to get there as much as we would like, but I do try to share and engage when I see your posts come up. So, <laughs> And we appreciate that so much. Oh yeah, no problem. I I just want to share Post their food, food and does recommendations. All of that helps so much. Yep. And and, and that's what people uh, I think some a lot of people get it, but some people don't understand how powerful like things like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram can be. All it takes is that one person to see that one post and then before you know it, you could blow up. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. <laughs> Starting a business in general can be a big task. Starting a business and then going through a pandemic, that's, I mean, I can't imagine the stress that as a new business you're going through, a new restaurant especially. Uh, what's been like the toughest thing for you guys so far? Um, Just keep it going. I mean, when we shut down, for and did carry out only that was really stressful and was really stressful is we were only open um, Wednesday through Saturday from the beginning and mm -hmm. evenings and then we decided we wanted to go all the way so we opened for lunch Monday through Saturday and um, evenings as well 
And then that's when everything hit two weeks later, we had to do carry out only. Yeah. In the first month, everybody showed their support and that's when the fish fries were going on. And I think mm-hmm. that's what really helped us yeah. um, getting our name out there with those two. And just everybody's support is just truly amazing how everybody just pulls in and helps out in getting the word out there. That's what made us where we are now. Yep. Yep. So, you know, things have uh, loosened up a little bit as far as restrictions and people being able to go out to places. Uh, So you guys, are you allowing seating uh, inside now? Yeah, we are. Um, we do a lot of sanitizing. Everything gets cleaned down, the menus, the tables, the ketchup and mustards, all the condiments. We are all about sanitizing and making sure all the door handles are clean and the bathrooms are wiped down to take all the precautions that we can. And our servers are wearing masks. Yeah, and- it's, it's definitely a tough thing. Like I it's like I know for myself, like we haven't eaten out a lot. Uh, we'll we'll eat out if um, we go to a place and we know that we can be away from other people. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, there's been some times where we haven't, we've just been out and about doing different errands and we'll go to a place and like, oh, well, there's a spot over there and there's nobody else around. So, all right, let's go ahead and <laughs> snag that up real quick. Or um, that actually happened last week when we were out at uh, Master's Hand. You know, I, I was like, hey, maybe we'll just get food to go or I don't know, but it was actually after their regular serving hours, but they let us come in and eat anyway. And it was just us by ourselves for the most part in in their little seating area. So we were good with that, um, stayed for a little bit, but I know that's a a big concern. Every place isn't requiring people to wear masks. So you don't know if you don't wanna be around people and you're like, do I go? So I know that's why we more often than not just get it to go. Um, But we still try to make sure that we are out there supporting as much as possible. Every weekend still, usually Friday through Sunday, we're, we're getting somewhere local uh, at least once during the day, sometimes twice, because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean- I always enjoy seeing your post. <laughs> you know, I just, it, man, it's just one of those things I, I, I really love the local, like, community and and being a part of it and trying to help other people like grow and I know that it's hard so like I just want to be able to try to provide some level of support to people uh who who need it or you know who appreciate it um just because it it helped it helps me feel good like I feel good when I share stuff for people and or if someone tells me that they went somewhere based off of my recommendations so like I, I really enjoy and appreciate that myself so it's just a whole cycle. <laughs> yeah. So uh, right now, <laughs> I see that you guys are always having different specials. Uh, what's like one of your favorite specials that you do during the week? Um, during the week is probably the tacos. Tacos. It's uh, The street tacos are my absolute favorite. Uh, this we weekend, we're having the ribeye topped with lobster meat and holiday sauce. And I had that last night. And that was out of this world yeah so and the magic touch that's for sure <laughs> so are you so how does it work do you cook also I know you said your husband uh has been like cooking for years um are you back there as well or are you just like yep. the front end manager or nope you're doing the it front all. end <laughs> they don't like me back there oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I'll try going back there and flipping my own burger once in a while when I want something. But for the most part, I get kicked out from back there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all right. Hey, as long as, you know, a business needs that, it needs the person, you know, doing the front end stuff and is comfortable with that, then you need, you know, you, so you don't, it's less stress. So you don't feel like you'll have to do everything. So yeah, no, no, definitely. I'm not. Stick to the front part. <laughs> Well, I asked you what's been the toughest part. Uh, what's been the best part for you guys? Um, the growth. Just seeing um, customers that have been with us since day one. That's that's the best part right there. And seeing them still coming in and how they almost been come like a part of the family. Yeah. 
where we just sit down and they know my kids, I know all their kids, and we just sit there and talk. And that's the best part right there, the joy move. Yeah. And Every single week. And that's that's the joy. That's the joy. Yeah. And again, being in the community, I mean, having such a, I, I've said this many times, like Bellevue and Papillion, uh, yeah. Omaha does it as well, too, but Omaha is so big. Sometimes I think there's opportunities for things to fall through the cracks. But yeah. Bellevue and Papillion are smaller areas. And uh, I, I see people who are helping one another. Or they're doing cross promotions, uh, you know, like the tea shop. You know, they they have chocolate from uh, Chocolatiri Stom or or they used to do stuff with um, the, the, the hard bean. Uh, that was mm -hmm. over there that closed down. But it, it's cool to see that. And, and I always say there's enough, especially in the food food area, there's enough for everyone to eat, literally and figuratively. So uh, it, there's no reason to have like any animosity towards another restaurant owner or anything like that. And people actually come together and, and promote one another. So it's, it's, it's cool. Like I, I love seeing it in even though I'm just yeah. eating and writing reviews or making videos, I love being a part of it too. So, oh yeah, we love going over and getting food from other places by us too. <laughs> we'll just go in there, bring it in, and eat. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I've been there three times. I know we had tacos once, I had burgers the first time. I can't remember what else, but we, we all enjoy it. What is your uh, favorite meal uh, that, that you guys make or, or create there? Um, I love the pork tenderloin. But it can three people can eat on that for sure. Yeah. So it's definitely leftovers unless you're wanting to share it. <laughs> that thing is huge. Um, that, and also the Philly wrap. Okay. <laughs> the Philly wrap is one of my favorites too. Okay. All right. What's all in the Philly wrap? Philly wrap's got, it's just like a beef Philly. So you got the mushrooms, the peppers, the onions, but I always add jalapenos in mine. And then you can also add cream cheese if you want to. Nice. So that's always adds a magic touch. That's what I, I, I always like a little, like I don't like a lot of spice and stuff, but if you get like just enough to give you a little kick, man, that's, that really drives a good meal home. Like I put hot sauce on like almost everything. So <laughs> I, I would put it on Me that too. Rack. <laughs> we got a bottle of everything here. <laughs> really? Oh, man. I, I'm, a, of course, a Frank's uh, red hot guy, but we'll have some other, like, people know that I like hot sauce and, and, and we'll get hot sauces or my in-laws will get us hot sauces. Uh, my wife actually got me one from Made in Omaha uh, for Christmas. So uh, it was a chili, chili lime, I think, or something like that. Was it the Eek? No, it was, it was, uh, hey, can uh -huh. you pass me that hot sauce that mom gave me out of the, it's, uh, it's just purchase the yeek ones. Yeek ones? What is it? Oh yeah, crazy gringa. Ooh, I'm gonna have to give that a try. Yeah. Where'd she get that at? So on, uh, Pacific, there's Awesome, a, I'm gonna uh, have to get some of that. Yeah, Pacific Street, there's a place called, uh, I think it's like, uh -huh. I think she said it was by Trader Joe's maybe, uh, but it's called Made in Omaha, and they just have a bunch of stuff from Nebraska. Uh, ooh, we should go there today. <laughs> <laughs> they have these dilly beans, these green beans, these pickled green beans. Oh, so good. Good? But, oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, I put this hot sauce on something the other day. It's pretty good. You know, I don't usually do like the, the lime, but... It worked. It, it kicks it up a notch. Put on some pizza. Oh, that's what I did. I put it on pizza from Orsi's. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, man, what else was I going to say? Oh, so your husband is doing all the cooking. Uh, is everything from scratch or how, how, how does that go? Yep. They make yeah. everything from scratch there. And I know you guys have like a, a, a ton of different menu items. Um, you know, we talked about some of the specials already. You guys got desserts too. Uh, how many different desserts do you guys have? 
Well, we have, we just added on two more actually. So we got um, three different kinds of cheesecakes. We got a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. We got a cinnamon cheesecake and then a regular cheesecake. And then we got the chocolate trilogy, peanut butter explosion and carrot cake. Peanut butter explosion. Uh-huh. Ooh, <laughs> what's that about? <laughs> so you got a, like a layer of cake brownie. Then it's like a mousse um, kind of peanut butter. Okay. And then, then it's topped with some whipped cream and some fruit on the side and you want actually nice it's nice. pretty good well I, I know we'll definitely have to get some uh <laughs> dessert when we come back i don't know <laughs> wings or tacos maybe wings and tacos you know I, there you go since i like to eat so much i usually order a couple of different things so whatever um one of the things that we talked about before we actually were recording was that you guys now offer uh, delivery services through flash deliveries Yep. We're very, very excited about that. Nice. Um, we got, actually, he didn't even post it yet last night. And then we had a delivery. He called me. He's like, did you make a post? An order for it. So we did our first one last night and nice. then it's going up today. So he added that on to there. So we're very excited about that. Nice. Yeah. Oscar, I, like I said, I've only talked to him uh, for the most part through social media, but uh uh, we've texted back and forth, and I, I did have one phone conversation with him. A really nice guy, uh, and as I said, Julie from Grecian uh, loves loves him, and you know, from the conversation that I had with her about him, and uh, it's great for anyone watching or listening. Uh, Flash Deliveries is from Bellevue, Nebraska, and they are a local delivery company, helping a lot of the restaurants. Uh, so you see, like DoorDash and GrubHub and whoever else out there. But these guys are local and they're less expensive than going to those other uh, delivery service providers. So if, if you, and this is what he told me too, it's not just food. If you know of a company that needs delivery services, they will uh, deliver pretty much anything. It's not just food. So check those guys out. I'll put a link in here for them as well. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That opens up the business a lot uh, to more people who may not be able to come and see you guys. Uh, you know, or maybe they just don't want to go out right now due to the pandemic or whatever. It's a nice option to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'm a lot of people keep asking if we do delivery. So I'm very, very excited to get this started, especially people that are at home or can't drive. This will definitely open up some doors for them. Yeah. As well. and, yeah. And, it, and too, for, uh, you know, the people who are not necessarily in the Papillion area who just maybe they live out in Millard or somewhere and they just don't want to drive all the way somewhere. So it's cool to have that. And and I've visited the site a few times and I see all the different restaurants and stuff. So it, it, it's cool. I know that they're growing and uh, that's another great community business that I love seeing, you know, work with other people. So everybody can win and everybody can work together. I mean. Yep, exactly. And in a time like and We this, also do catering too. Oh, okay. Um, so I wanted to get that out there too. We do, um, we can cater to any big orders, wedding receptions, um, even for dining or for uh, businesses, a lot of meetings. We've been getting some of those banks and stuff. We're catering for all their meetings or the where we bring it. We do individual boxing for them and sacks where we label it for everybody so nobody has to touch anything. And... Um, we're trying to get that out there too as well. Nice. And is that all available on your website and everything? Um, well, we can do where they want to order something off the menu or we can even build what they want. We can build around them. So if it's for weddings and stuff like that, we can do everything. We can build the menu on how they want it and everything that they want. Cool. Cool. Uh, so have you seen any like trends in like the flow of business recently? Is it, is it, the same as it was in 2020 so far this year, or is it like going up more? Or? It's just, it, it's, we can't predict. One day, normally we're busy on certain days, and then those days have been slower, and then the um, slower days have been busier. So it's just, it's been really, really hard to predict our days and try to keep it fully staffed to way that be, but we've been just having everybody there, so 
we're, we're trying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just it, all the days are unpredictable anymore. It's, for, it's like really, really busy. And then it slowed down a little bit and now it's picking back up. Yeah. Well, hopefully as we get more out of the winter time, not that we've had, <laughs> like, there's only been a few days where we've had weather issues, but uh, maybe as we start to get out of the winter season and get into that springtime, maybe things will start to pick up. And who knows what's going to happen with the vaccine being available now and whatnot. I mean, they're saying that there's different strains of the virus. So I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully we don't shut down again, though. I mean, that would be one thing that we don't need. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am really hoping that, too. Yeah, it, it's too, too tough. And then our fish fries are going to be. What's that? Oh, I was just going to say it's too tough for, you know, small businesses like to be able to operate when, you know, that's going on. So, yeah, our fish fries are going to be starting next month also. So we're really excited about that. So we had a Friday? huge turnout. Yep. So we had huge turnouts then. So I'm hoping we can keep up with that. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm also going to offer walleye now this year. Okay. Might have to stop by, you know, um, my wife is Catholic, so um, they go to Holy Ghost Church. So usually they would be like uh -huh. volunteering for the fish fries and stuff. She still volunteered last year. I think it was only once or twice that she volunteered. But uh, yeah, they, her and my girls, they go and volunteer and they usually do that on Friday nights. Uh, I, I'll, I'll eat there sometimes. I don't. There's been a couple where I've stayed, but uh, usually she'll just bring it home or I'll go and get it and then come home and eat while they're volunteering. If I'm not volunteering, uh, I've volunteered a couple of times to, uh, to help out. But uh, yeah, I definitely try to get to some other places too. I know a couple of years ago we went to, um, we won tickets actually through a Twitter post through Mary Our Queen. And that uh -huh. place was... It was, it was like all you can eat Crazy. or something like that. I'm like, wait, how, how, <laughs> how, did, how, how can you allow people to eat like all that they want? Oh, man, it was so good. It was good. So I'm, I'm excited for the fish fry season two. <laughs> um, what else? What else you got? You know, uh, are you guys, what, what are your hours on Sundays? We, we don't, we're not open Sundays right oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so say, it's, are you open right. for like football games and stuff with the Super Bowl and everything? Yep. The playoffs? We're going to be open for the Super Bowl. Okay. And lots and lots of wings. <laughs> so we'll be um, doing for carry out on wings if people want to stay in. Then we're going to be also open and there will be um, specials going on for that too. And okay. hopefully it'll be a good time. All right. Well, that sounds good. I'm I'm hungry now. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I need to <laughs> I need to uh, get something to eat myself right now. <laughs> um, so before I let you go, what else would you? What is like one thing that you would want people to know? One or two things uh, that you would want people to know about Morin's Grill? Um, that it's just we're not out there to make the money. We're out there to um. We opened it, too, because we wanted our kids to know how hard it can be. So we wanted to bring our kids in and have them do it where we a place we can bring them in and show them that how hard it is to earn that money and how to be responsible and have good head on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I think that it has really opened all of their eyes. They all see, they all come in and work. My stepson's there literally every night um, after he's done with school, he comes straight to work. Yeah. And that has just been the, our number one goal. Me and Julio's number one goal was to have the kids understand how hard we have to work and yep. how hard it is to earn that. So uh, that was our biggest thing in opening this place. So, and it's been amazing. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you got to teach the kids that it's I, I try to let our kids know that, hey, we've got a good life and you're we're fortunate. Like, don't take that for granted. Like <laughs> there's people who who are struggling. I mean, who were struggling before the pandemic. Yeah. So, you know, 
for them to be going through a pandemic now and struggling even more, like you got to count every day as a blessing and be thankful for everything that you have. So that's what it yep, is. Definitely. So yep. where, again, uh, where can we find you? I know you've given the address, but if you can give the address again and any other contact information and any social media platforms that you're on. Okay. Our specials every single day. And then you can find us at moransgrill.com and you can see our menu on there. And then my phone number is 402-677-1142. And then we're located at 230 West Lincoln Street in Papillion. And then we're located where the city park is, inside the American Legion building, right around back. And there's usually a sign up on the side, right? Yep, they have a big billboard sign. And they put the specials up there and everything that's been going on for that week and that day. So, yeah, and then our signs are up, too, as well. Cool, cool. Well, everyone. The big white building, that's where we're at. Yes, yes. I mean, you can't miss it. As soon as you take that turn off of 84th, like it's right there on the north side of the street. So like you can't miss it. Uh, <laughs> it or it's right at the four-way stop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know people keep saying they didn't know that we, you know, they even could come in and eat. So it's open to the public and anybody is welcome. We know we're open from 11 to 2. Monday through Friday, and then also um, four to eight on Monday through Wednesday. All right, what was that last part? I think, I, I don't know if it's because it's Zoom or what, but it's like when, I, like I'm at home, you're at home, so the internet connection should be fine. But anytime I'm using the Zoom, like it, it, it cuts in and out. So I didn't catch that last part. Oh, um, for the hours? It, I heard open, you say or, Monday through Wednesday, four to eight, or Monday through Friday, yeah, mon you're in your evening hours, and then it cut out. Okay, so we're, we're open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 2. Monday through Wednesday, we're open from four to eight, and then Thursday through Saturday, we're open from four to nine. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as always, thank you so much for tuning in, whether you're listening to the audio podcast or you're on uh, YouTube and watching us. Thank you so much for just being there and supporting us. Um, real quick, another shout out. I got my Grecian Euros on. Shout out to Julie and John over there at Grecian Euros and all their staff. Thank you guys for all the, the great food uh, since we've been over here in Papillion. Um, but please, if you support the podcast, so easy. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about What's Up Omaha and all the great guests that we have. The goal is to uh, grow together. So that's what it is. We love you guys. Thank you. Smile. Help someone else smile. Laugh and help someone else laugh all day, every day. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. It's great seeing you. You too.